More than 150 years after the Civil War, slavery, slavery is still an important lesson in schools. But a suburban school found a homework assignment touched a raw nerve with some parents. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has the story new at six. It's been in the curriculum for a decade at South Mountain Elementary in South Orange. Fifth graders studying the colonial era, given an option to create an advertisement. One suggestion, a poster for a slave auction. Several students did just that. But some parents who saw the posters while visiting the school were offended. Many reacting on Facebook. I am mortified. These images actually hurt my heart. This is absolutely appalling and demeaning. We're a community built on diversity, not destructive ignorance and segregation. I don't think the school should have allowed that at all. I'm not upset by it because it's, it's fact. The question really is, what's the context? I can see how out of context people would get angry about that. I can see it's, it's, um, it's a tough assignment. Indeed, a letter from the school superintendent said there should have been a note explaining the project, which was approved by an anti-bias education expert. Quote, we need to do a better job of acknowledging the uglier parts of our past so that children learn the full story. Turns out South Orange Maplewood is far from the first community where a slavery-related homework assignment has stirred controversy. Posters, math homework, slave auction skits, slave songs, all have raised anger and concern. South Orange Maplewood apologized for what it called unintended offense, took the posters down, and promised to discuss the topic at an upcoming town hall. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. This controversy comes as the school district investigates two instances of racist graffiti at the South Orange Middle School.